What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to design and prototype banners according to Google's material design guidelines. We're going to be designing three different types of banners for both mobile and desktop. One will have an action, one will have two actions, and one will have two actions plus an icon associated with that action. Let's first design our mobile banners. I'm going to start by taking some typography. We'll set this weight to regular. Let's have a piece of text here that says action. Make that all caps. I'm going to change this weight to medium. I'll increase the letter spacing a little bit. I'm going to apply auto layout here. Call this button. I'm going to select both of these. Hit shift A to apply auto layout. I'm going to give it a white background. You'll see that the top there's supposed to be 10 pixels of spacing. The bottom there should be 8. Right there should be 8. And on the left there should be 16. Right now this is 387 pixels wide. We're going to reduce that by 12. So that the total width is 375 pixels. We'll set this to fill container. That way if we stretch this horizontally, the text box will increase in size or decrease in size. I'm also going to change the color of this button to be that purple that we had in the title card for this video. Let's reduce the height of that. This is 54 pixels high as shown in this design. We'll rename this one action. Now let's duplicate this. Apply auto layout here. There's eight pixels of spacing. We're going to change this to be vertical direction rather than horizontal direction. Right aligned. We're going to switch the spacing to be 12 pixels. Pop spacing to be 18 pixels. We will call this two actions. And then finally, we're going to make one that has an icon. So I'm going to take this circle. I'm going to make this 40 pixels. I'm going to make the background color that same purple. I'm going to take this action. and I'm going to change this to say exclamation triangle. And I'm going to switch the font to be font awesome pro. I'm going to change this to be white, set this to a solid fill, center this here, and then I'm going to move this circle back. Let's increase the size of this a little bit. Now let's take this, we're going to apply auto layout here, push this over. Now this should have 16 pixels of spacing, and let's set this to be fill container. We'll also set this to say fill container. Now you can see if I increase the text strings here, it'll respond accordingly. I'm going to delete all three of these titles and get rid of this. Now I'm going to design the desktop versions of this. Let's take all three of these. Now we'll set the width of each of these to be 720 pixels, like the image here. The design of this component doesn't really change. This one does though, so what we need to do here is horizontal. I'm going to switch this so it's bottom right aligned. We're actually going to increase the spacing here to be 90 pixels, that's what it says in the guidance. Add some spacing here, and finally we'll have this last one, which is two actions plus icon. Let's grab this icon from over here. Get that to fill container, and now if I try to resize any of these elements, they'll resize accordingly. Now what I'm going to do is make sure all of these are spaced evenly. I am going to select all of these, go to create component set, I'm going to call this banner. I'm going to change property 1 to type, and I'm going to add an additional variant called device. We'll default this to mobile. We'll change all of these to be desktop. And now if I grab one of these, change this to one action, two actions, or two actions with an icon, I can also switch this to be desktop. One thing I'm going to do here is increase the line spacing a little bit just so this text has room to breathe and is more legible. Now that we have our components designed, the last thing that I'm going to do is show you how to prototype them. Let's say I have this top bar and then I have the banner component. I'm going to duplicate this screen and I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it so that it sits behind this top bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to prototype, click here, on tap, navigate to the screen. I'll have the setting be smart animate rather than instant so that to ease out at 150 milliseconds. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. Let's say I dismiss this banner. I'll keep those same prototype settings that I was using for the previous one and I'm just going to move this card right back up. If you look at the prototype view for this, I click, you can see it quickly pops in. If I hit dismiss, it pops back up. This is a very simple animation, but it follows Google's material design guidelines. And that's it. You now have a banner component that can be used on desktop or mobile, and you know how to prototype them when putting together your designs. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of banner components, how to design them, and how to prototype them when putting together both desktop and mobile designs. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.